Hey, this is Tony Kegger back with our PWG review. Uh, this video review is about PWG Fear, and I didn't buy a DVD because it's sold off stock, but I did download it from High Spots, and to show I'm not lying to you, I can prove it. So I show you like illegally download. So here's my um, High Spot. Here's my phone. Let's see now. Let me see this. Let me just zoom in on where it says video download. Let's see if you can see it. Right here. Um, here you go. You can see it right there. PW Fear, PWG Fear video download. Let me scroll over. There's the download link. Right there. So I see. It is my account. It's not a page I pulled up. Like I googled or anything. That's actually my a page on my account. So I I do have it. Let me see if I can log out of here. Okay, so there you go. So I, I downloaded Fear, and so here's my review of it. Um, first of all, let's talk about video downloads for a second. So just, if I want to see the show, I had to download it. DV sold out on PWG's website and on High Spots. So, but um, I had leftover Visa gift card money, and High Spots doing 25 percent off sale. So actually, I like, saw the show for seven forty nine, I think. And this is what I like about video downloads: so first time downloading something from High Spot, a video, and I kind of I liked it. And um, easy to download. You know, I was able to save it to my computer. So if High Spot ever crashes or something, I can always watch it on my computer. But that's what I like about video downloads. Um, let's see. So what's cool about video downloads? I like DVDs too. I mean, I like having DVDs and owning the actual physical copy. But I'm not really a DVD collector. I just have DVDs just so I can um, watch the shows that I normally that I normally can't see on TV or something, especially PWG. There's no there's no like PWG on YouTube or on TV. So if you want to see their shows you have to open it to get the D V D. But um what's cool with video video downloads, even though I prefer DVDs. First of all, a lot of these shows are like cheaper if you if you download it, like Fear is nine ninety nine. And really, the DVD would probably cost fourteen ninety nine. And another thing is um, free shipping. You know, they, they're not gonna, they don't charge shipping because they're not really set, sending anything. They're sending it electronically. So if you're gonna buy a PWG show by download versus um, actually buying a DVD, you're probably gonna save about uh, seven bucks. You know. So even though I really preferred the DVD, if it's out of stock, I wouldn't mind getting a video download again, especially like um. Another show, um, PWG, um, Death to All, but Metal, I think it's called. It's a show I want to see, but it's out of the, it's out of stock the MDB, so I definitely wouldn't wouldn't mind video downloading it. I would save a lot of money too. Okay, enough about that. Let's get on to the actual review about fear. You pull the matches here. Okay. Let's see if I can go about each match. I got the matches rating in the descriptions. Um, here, problem with the show is um. I already have the main event on the Super Dragon DVD, so it's one of those shows where um, I'm hoping your sub matches are good. Otherwise, um, you know, I mean, the, the biggest matches are a repeat for me, and that's maybe the biggest um, disappointment about the show is that there is a, I don't think there is a second big match. The main event, um, Super Dragon and Kevin Steen versus the Young Bucks, you know, four and a half star match, really good. But the second biggest match, um, I mean, they have a bunch of four-star matches, but that's the only one to go with, with higher than four stars. So I mean, let's see other matches. Um, what else did I like here? El Jericho versus Dick Toga gave that four stars. Um, let's see, Super Smash Brothers versus American Wolves gave that four stars. By the way, Super Smash Brothers really like them as a tag team. If you want to check out more of their matches, um, let's say get four stars. The eight-person tag team match with um, Peter Al Alvon, Ray Rosas, Jerry Ryan, Scorpio Sky versus B-Boy, Famous B, Chris Cadillac, and Candice LeRae. That was a great match, too. Very fun, um, like a spot fest. I made eight-person tag matches at PWG. I've seen a lot of six-man matches, but rarely do you see a six-person tag team match. I think that match made the match better. So much like um, high spots and good spots from everybody in this match. And yeah, like, um, 
Castle Ray gets a little bit like sexually molested in his match, but it's like not that long, not that long. It's not like a whole match. It's like being only a few minutes in the match. So, you know, if you're, that's something you're worried about. It's not um, too much to match. It's like maybe like, maybe a few minutes, but it's not like it's, it happens for the whole match or anything like that. Uh, what else here? Yeah, so I like that match. The first match of the show, uh, Fighting Terror Boys versus Kenny King and TJ Perkins. Um, very good match. I almost gave it four stars. Gave it three and three fourths, but a really good opening match. The other match I really liked was um, Future Shock versus Rock Miss Monsters. Uh, almost gave it four stars. Another three and three quarter star match. Really good stuff. I like the Rock Miss Monsters. They're a good team. Future Shock is a really good team. So, a lot of good, a lot of good tag team matches in this show. And um, but still, like there's no second, there's no like really big second match. Like I feel like they had never like four and a half star match or four and a quarter star match. Like if that just show would have been really good. But even so, um, what I like about the show is that this might be the best like from start to finish card I've seen in PWG so far. Where like not only is there's no bad matches, but every match is like really good. Like for example, um, here's what I think are the two worst matches, and you're not gonna believe this. Um, and like, um, you know, if I watch this again, I'm gonna change my ratings for these. One match I feel like I kind of overrated. The other match I feel like I might have underrated. But let's see. Um, for second worst match I have, the Amazing Red versus Roderick Strong. I gave that three and a half stars. And so that's the second worst match out of eight matches. It's pretty amazing. I mean, Roderick Strong, I think he's awesome. Amazing Red, he's really good, and his people were complaining about how he looked sloppy in this match, and I don't know, he looked he looked good to me. I mean, the match told, told a good story, and I guess even his moves looked kind of sloppy at times. He was getting like beat down most of the match, so to me it looked like um he was you know you know storyline wise looked like you know he's tired, he's weak, he's he's trying to do his moves, but they're coming off sloppy because he's tired and weak. So to me, it I didn't even. Considered like a botch, it looked like made it more believable. That like, yeah, if you're like tired and selling, you're not gonna hit your moves like perfectly. They're gonna come up looking like sloppy. And um, my worst match for the three or quarter stars was Chris Hero versus Willie Mack. I mean, how many times is Chris Hero gonna be have the worst match of the card? Very very rare times. I I like Willie Mack. He's one of my favorite like big wrestlers I've ever seen. Really um. For his size, he does amazing stuff I wouldn't expect him to do. So those are my worst matches. I mean, and I might watch Chris Hero versus Willie Mack again because I feel like I might underrate it a little bit. But you know, it's my worst match, but it doesn't mean I hate it by any means. It was actually it was really good. It just um, didn't you know? It's one of those matches you can tell like it's not bad, but you can tell there's something missing and you can't put your finger on it. But you know, it's just something about it that's um, not good and. You know it's not a great match, but it's very watchable though. I, I, there's definitely fun spots. It's like a nice stiff match. Nothing really bad about it. it just wasn't a four star match. If, like that, if that sh match like stole the show and was like four and a half star match, that puts Fear like as one of the best shows I've ever seen in PWG. But this felt like the show was missing a um, was missing a really good match. Like I'm happy to see a show that's like all the matches are good and enjoyable, but I really want one more like really great match, so I can always go back and like you know rewatch the match over and over again. I mean, yeah, that one match was um, Super Dragon and Kevin Steen, but since I I got the DVD of Super Dragon, so I can just go back and watch the DVD. But this is a show I might um, go back and watch again sometimes. I mean, there there was a lot of good matches, and you know Super Smash Bros. You know, big fans are taking now during this card, so. I'll probably watch their matches again sometimes. And, um, yeah, so I wouldn't rate this as one of my favorite PWG shows, but it's definitely not bad at all. I mean, you know, if like Steam Wolf and Free Men is Free and Night 2 of Battle Los Angeles 2013 are all like amazing shows, this would be like very good. I feel like there's like free, free ratings for PWG shows amazing, very good, and good. I feel like bad is not one of the options. So this would be a very good show, I think. Definitely, um, yeah, I recommend it. I won't say like it's a must-see show, but yeah, if you want to see it, it's, you know, get, download it for like 
less than eight bucks like I did, yeah, I would say, you know, maybe go watch it. Especially to see some of these matches. I mean, think of, this is like the only amazing red match I think PWG. You know, Dick Toga is like one of his like retirement matches. It's like one of the last Super Dragon matches of PWG. So a lot of history. Is, and all the matches are good. I mean, there's not there's no bad matches. So definitely a show. Um, it's not the worst show you can watch. It's definitely a show I would recommend. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you later.